I'm just going to show you a car PC that I put together um, and installed into my car. Um, the car that I've got is a Renault Scenic S Reg. It's uh, about 10 years old. Um, basically, what I've done is I've taken the um, stereo out, the existing standard stereo. I've replaced it with uh, like a media station that you can buy off the internet for around 100 quid. Um, and through the auxiliary, I've installed my own um, PC in the back of the car and um, some of the bits and bobs and some of the gadgets which I'll show you in a yeah. second. Okay, I'll give you a quick demo of the computer itself running um, Microsoft. Well, it's not Microsoft, it's just eSpeaking it's called. Um, and we'll see if it works. <laughs> computer. Yes, Carl. Play yes. Jamiroquai. Playing your music. You can see that it's playing the song I'm after. Computer. Yes, Carl. Close application. It's closed up, tuned down. Uh, if I wanted to play another song, um, I'll try and uh, get its attention by saying computer, and then I'll get it to play Crowded House. Yes. Computer. Yes, Carl. Play Crowded House. Playing Crowded House. You can listen there. Computer. Yes, Carl. Close application. Let's close that back down again. Uh, right now I'm going to try and get it to connect to the internet um, using just voice commands. Um, really handy if you want to just check your email account or Hotmail. Computer. Yes, Carl. Website, eBay. eBay loaded. It's just loading up now. There you see, eBay's loaded up. Computer. Yes, Carl. Close window. Close window. There you go. It's closed at that window. Um, if you wanted to load up, say, um, Hotmail or maybe Google. Um, Computer. Yes, Carl. Website, Google. Google loaded. And then we've got Google website loaded up there. Listening resume. Computer. Yes, Carl. Close window. Let's close the window. Um, it is pretty handy, um, but on the off chance that you stand by. Uh, on the off chance that your e-speaking um, doesn't work, um, I've integrated a wireless keyboard and mouse. Um, also, so you, when you so you can surf the net, uh, it just makes things a lot easier than trying to manually input it on the screen. Um, which I've, I've, in trial and error, it's 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 a lot easier than actually manually using this when you're on the go rather than you know just using the screen. Um, so that gives you some sort of demo. I mean, I can get it to open the inter um, like the C drive, your, your internal hard drive. Um, I can also get it to open like the contents of your music. Um, so we'll try this now. Um, computer. Yes, Carl. Open my music. Here is your music. Minimize. Computer. Yes, Carl. Open internal hard drive. Hard drive open. There you go, hard drive open. Listening resumed. Stand by. Okay, I'm, um, I'm just going to show you um, where I've integrated the power switch there. Uh, it's basically just an extension of on your ATX power supply. Um, I've taken the pins off an old uh, ATX switch and just basically made an extension out of it. Uh, you can see there, it's, it's a bit... It's a bit basic, uh, but it works, it works fine. Uh, I've rammed the cable in, in through the door frame, just down here, and through the rear of the car into the booth. Uh, I've done the same with the microphone, uh, which I've used just here, this sort of dangles down there. Um, you can't really see it, actually, when you're driving. It's quite well hidden away. Um, the, the microphone, this is just a 3.5mm um, extension socket, uh, which comes out. This thing here is a 3.5mm um, Sony condenser microphone. Um, it's it's really good quality and it's, it's good for picking up like dictation and things like that. Um, that's why I've used this particular microphone for my voice activation because uh, it's ideally suited for it. Um, I'll show you the other side of the car. Right, okay, this is the uh, the passenger side. Um, I've actually from the stereo itself, I've taken the audio connection and the video RCA and I've ran it through this side of the car. Um, if you just have a look underneath the 
part there you can see a small cable running in which runs into the door frame that's where I ran all the cables through through the door frame just to keep it nice, neat and tidy uh, you can just see underneath there where the, the two phono jacks connect in and I've covered that in duct tape to uh, to keep it neat and out the way um, then it runs in out the side panel there through into the rear of the car and I'll show you the boot now where the um, the actual computer is kept okay this is the, the boot of the car um, this metal box is just to protect the computer while it's in the back of the car because um, I've got a small child and we're, we're constantly putting the, the pram in and out of the car so um, my dad put together just a little stainless steel um, box there just to, uh, to stop the computer itself getting knocked around. As you can see we've got the, the 3G modem, um, that's how I connect to the internet. Uh, this thing here is a VGA adapter, um, it converts VGA to composite signal because the motherboard itself, um, which is in my particular PC, um, doesn't have composite out. Um, this thing is a power regulator to take it from the UK uh, three pin plug um, to cigarette lighter so you can plug it straight from the car battery uh, and there's no fancy wiring needed there, you can just run it straight through the, the cigarette socket. Um, you can see a small USB hub, that's just to, to link various devices into it. Um, round the back I say it's just you can just see here it's just a normal PC um, I've actually used um, the Hewlett Packard EPC um, it's a Pentium 933 I think Pentium 3 uh, it's only got 256 megabyte RAM it's not a particularly powerful computer um, but it does for what I need it for which is basically just surfing the internet um, with running the power off the battery it's always a concern that you can run the car battery flat so I've put this battery surge protector in um, it's an automatic battery protector so if the, the battery voltage dips below 11.3 volts um, it cuts off the appliance because obviously the computer is secondary um, I need the car to start primary so that's, that's why I've done that uh, you can see the front of the HP PC I've just put a bit of duct tape there to stop it coming out um, I say it's a, bit, it's a bit primitive the way I've set it up um, but it works um, and that's really all I wanted it to do. It was more of a project than anything else. Um, you can see the white cable here. That's the extension from the power. Um, and that runs right into the, the front of the PC there. Um, obviously, it's just an extension. I've not done anything to the board. I've not um, destroyed the original switch. I've just made an extension from an old switch. Uh, again, that works really well. Um, I think that's pretty much it. This is the audio cable. Sorry, this is the microphone cable that's coming in from the right. And I've got the um, audio and composite, as I said, coming from the left.